Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here you're super welcome and I really hope that you will stick around as well but anyway in today's video I will be doing another crochet tutorial and today I will be teaching you how to do this super cute strawberry crochet stitch I'm very excited about this tutorial and I really hope that you will enjoy it as well because this pattern is super super cute it also has this kind of like 3d effect and it's also been one of the latest trends that i have seen so far so i'm very excited to actually teach you how to do it and this pattern is inspired by nastasia here on youtube but in this video i tried to make it as beginner friendly as possible so i really hope that it will be helpful for everyone no matter what level in crochet you are at the moment and as well i have given some extra tips at the very end in how you can customize it and do all sorts of different strawberry ways or sizes and so on so i really hope that you will enjoy but now let's jump into it so here are all the materials that we are going to use and here i have two colors of yarn and i'm using cotton which is four ply and here i also have a crochet hook which is 3.5 millimeters but of course you're more than welcome to use different sizes of yarn or different sizes of hook if you wish and here i also have scissors of course and this is what we are going to try to replicate in today's video and i'm going to teach you how you can do that first i will be starting by using the red yarn and the first thing that we basically have to do is to create a slip knot. And the way how I normally do it is by tying it around the fingers like that, then grabbing it to create a loop. And this is basically the slip knot. Then I just insert the hook in the loop and tighten it to kind of create a knot on the hook. So once that's done, we are going to do some chains. And the amount of chains basically depends on how wide you want your uh, piece to be, but the basically you just have to do multiples of four. So whatever you can mul multiply by four, then just go for it. So in this case, I will be going with uh, 24. So to do a chain, you basically have to yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through the loop and just continue it like that until you have reached the desired amount. And also for this pattern, it's quite useful to keep the loops a little bit looser just to make sure that it's not too tight at the bottom once we will start working on the pattern itself. But just continue creating multiples of four for however wide you wish it to be. And just keep in mind to make them a little bit looser because that will help you a lot uh, later on just to make sure that it's not too tight. So here I have done 24 chains in total and now we can basically start working on the first row. So for the first row we will be doing single crochets and to do that we have to skip uh, one chain that we did before so we will be starting from the second chain here and to do a single crochet you basically have to go through the loop or the chain with your hook grab some yarn and pull it through to have two loops on the hook then yarn over and pull through both of the loops and then once that's done you can proceed with the next one so go through the chain grab some yarn pull it through to have two loops yarn over and pull through both of them and just repeat doing the same until you have completed all the chains and went all the way through so the first row is literally only single crochets all the way through and i will meet you back again once i have completed uh, all of this row so this is how it looks so far and here I have completed the whole first row. So now we can proceed to the second row. And before we do that, we have to uh, chain here uh, one, and then we can turn our work. And now we can officially proceed with the second row. So for the second row, we will first be doing three single crochets in the first three stitches. So one here, another one in the following 
and then third one in the third stitch like this once that's done uh, we will be doing five double crochets all together in the following stitch here so to do a double crochet yarn over and go through the stitch there pull some yarn uh, and pull it through so you have three loops then yarn over again and pull through first two yarn over again and pull through the second two and that's our first double crochet and then just do four more so in total you have five so yarn over go through the stitch uh, grab some yarn and pull it through to have three loops yarn over again and pull through two yarn over again and pull through two like that and just do uh, three more so you have five in total that's three four and five like this so now that we have completed five double crochets in one stitch we can move forward with the three single crochets one in each so one here another one in the next one and then one more in the third like this so we have three single crochets five double crochets in one three single crochets and now again in the next one it will be five double crochets in one so basically for the second row it will be just repetition of three single crochets and five double crochets in one stitch and actually you will see that throughout this pattern we will have the three and five three and five um, repetition in different forms throughout the, the pattern itself so just continue doing that until you complete the whole second row so now i have completed the whole second row and as you can see there is a mix of three and five three and five three and five and i ended this row with uh, five double crochets in one and three single crochets and the last one of them is unfinished so before we proceed to the next row we will actually be changing the color and the way how i do that is that i will grab the green one uh, which is this one and i will tie it around the existing red yarn that we have already and i will just make like a secure uh, knot like that and then i will just push it forward uh, so it sits right next to the hook like this so now uh, i'm just going to finish the stitch that we have here and instead of grabbing the red yarn i will be actually taking the green one so just yarning over and pulling through the two loops that we had on the hook and now we can move forward with the third row so just chaining one and then we can turn our work and also know that we know that uh, everything is secure we can also cut off the red yarn that we have here because we won't use it for this row basically so now we can start uh, with the following row uh, which is the third one so for this uh, at first we will be doing three single crochets so one two and three and as you can see now we have approached uh, five double crochets together in one here so for these stitches here we will actually do five single crochets all together and to do that uh, we will have to go through all of these stitches to kind of combine them into one so to do that basically you go through the stitch that you have grab some yarn and pull it through and keep it on your hook then move forward with the next stitch grab some yarn and the same way keep it on your hook and then again the following one like that the next one and the last one so basically at this point once we have gone through all five double crochets we should have six loops on our hook and then just yarn over and pull it through 
all loops that you have on your hook like this and it helps if the loops were a little bit looser because then it's easier to actually pull it through and now once you have done that you basically have to chain one like this and then go through the last stitch of five that we had here so just go through it with your hook grab some yarn and pull it through and then pull it through the loop uh, that you already had on our hook so basically doing a slip stitch there and after that we can again do three single crochets so one two and three and now again we have reached the next five double crochets together so we will be doing five single crochets all together in one so the same process go through every single stitch and pull some yarn through and if it's easier for you just try to make those loops a little bit looser because then at the end it'll be also easier for you to pull the yarn through So like that, then again chain one and do a slip stitch through the last stitch from the five. And repeat the same thing until you have gone through and completed the whole row. So here I have completed the whole third row and as you can see our strawberries are starting to shape and basically it creates this 3D effect that it really feels like it's a strawberry basically. And also from here on you can see that this pattern is only one sided because once I turn it around the other side as you can see it's not that pretty so it's only supposed to be on this side and uh, like the pattern or the final product will be facing this side rather than inside out because it's really not that pretty. <laughs> um, but now we can proceed with the, the fourth row and again we have to change our color and we will be doing it in the same way as before. So I'm kind of like unfinishing the, the uh, last stitch that we had and I will be just grabbing the red yarn and again tying it around the existing green one in a secure knot and just finalizing this last stitch and now when that's done we can just chain one and turn our work and move forward so for this row it will basically be the same as we did before apart from some changes uh, but other than that it will be very very similar uh, at least for the beginning or like the middle part will be pretty much the same but first what we have to do is that and just for your understanding as well now that we did uh, strawberries here from now on for for this row we will be doing them here in the middle so it's more like compact rather than them sitting on top of each other but more like here and there here and there <laughs> Uh, if that makes sense. So yeah, for this row, we will be starting by doing one single crochet in the first stitch here. And then in the following one, which is the second one, we will be doing five double crochets all together in one stitch. Like that. Now, when that is done, we can move forward with three single crochets. But the trick here is that we won't do all of them in a row one after each other but we will skip some stitches in the middle so first single crochet goes here in the first stitch right after five double crochets then the following one goes here on the top of our strawberry uh, which was actually our chain one from when we were doing the strawberry so that's our second single crochet so basically we just skipped one stitch in the middle and then once we have completed the second single crochet, we are again skipping the following stitch and doing one single crochet here where we have the first single crochet from those three. I hope this makes sense. So basically we did one single crochet, then skipping stitch, one single crochet, skipping stitch, and again, final third single crochet. And now we are here. And here in the following stitch, we will do again 
five double crochets in one. And again, now we have to do three single crochets. So I will tell you how to do it again. So in the following stitch, we do the first one, then we skip one and do the second single crochet here on top of the strawberry. So that's two. Then we skip one more and do a single crochet in the following one, like that. And then again, just repeating the five double crochets in one. So just keep on doing this and repeat the process until you have reached the end of the row. So now I have completed the fourth row and again, we finished it with five double crochets in one and one single crochet, which is actually unfinished uh, because we again have to change the color. So again, the same process as before and we can then finish the stitch. So just using the green yarn to finish it, pulling it through uh, to finalize the stitch and then we can chain one and turn our work. So now uh, we will be doing pretty much the same thing as we did before. It's just that uh, first we have to do one single crochet in the stitch that we have here. So that's one. And now again, we have to do five single crochets together in one. So just as before, go through the stitch, pull the yarn through, and make a looser loop so it's easier and go through all five of them. So in total, at the end, you have to have six loops on your hook, then yarn over and pull through all six of them like that, chain one and do a slip stitch on your last. And then the same thing, three single crochets like that and then five single crochets together in one so here i have completed uh, the fifth row and as you can see we have now established basically two rows of strawberries and it really starts to look super nice and i really love this 3d effect and i also hope that uh, you will love it as well but basically from now on we are just starting to repeat what we have done so far so for the following row we just have to start to repeat from uh, row second third fourth and five and it goes all the way like that so just to help you with uh, doing the following row where we will be basically repeating the second row what we have to do is uh, yeah of course first changing the color uh, to the red one of course if you prefer a different way to change your yarn colors you're more than welcome to do i just find that this one's a little bit easier and kind of helps me sleep at night so i know that nothing is going to untie but yeah basically finishing the last stitch here then chaining one and turning our work so as you remember during the second row uh, row we basically did three single crochets and then five in one so we are starting with the first one like this then we are skipping one and doing the second single crochet on top of the strawberry so that's two then again skipping one and doing the third one down here like that and here in the middle we are doing five and then again the same process with three single crochets so just continue doing that and build up as much volume as you want so here's an example from the previous work that I have done. And here, as you can see, I have completed multiple rows uh, of strawberries. And this is basically how it looks when you have uh, a few of them. So the 3D effect is super nice. And uh, I just really like how it looks. And of course, there's also room for um, improvement and adjustments. So as you can see during this row, I actually did uh, seven double crochets in one instead of five. And as you can see, the strawberries are sticking out even more. So even more 3 d <laughs> you can say that. And also if you want to make them even bigger, here on the last row here, 
instead of doing uh, double crochets, I have done triple crochets. So you can see that they are even bigger and uh, stand out even more. So it's basically up to you if you want to do them a little bit more like Loki, or if you want them to pop out a little bit more or quite a bit. So it's up to you. And uh, the another thing to keep in mind is that the more or the rounder you do them and the more stitches or bigger stitches you do, of course, it's going to require a little bit more yarn. Um, so just keep in mind in case you are purchasing that. And uh, of course, there's also room for uh, your imagination. So feel free to use this pattern to create all sorts of different uh, crochet works. I believe this would be super nice for like bags or scarves or even tops or jumpers or whatever you feel like would work uh, for you. Then just try it out and uh, I hope that this pattern will be super helpful and useful for that. So that was basically it from me today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that this pattern or tutorial is going to be useful for you as well and that you will create some nice crochet creations and if you do feel free to share them with me because I'm super excited to see that. But if you did enjoy this video please give me a big thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe and I will see you in the future videos. Thank you! Bye!